Let's see. We should be right next to... Huh. I thought the bar where we were meeting our contact was right here, but... According to my records, this is the correct stop on the L. So, exactly how old are your records? They were last updated 12 years ago. Oh, I see the problem now. We need to find the Badlands Bar and Grill. I suggest we spread out to cover more ground, but please, pair up, for your safety. Sol and Ophelia should be fine babysitting girl for the evening, but the sooner we're back on the bus, the better. Wait, are you suggesting we use the- Buddy system. Yes. Dude, we're not six. It's a proven system. If it works for children, it'll probably work. Do not finish that sentence. Anyway, let's pair up. No one's pairing up with anyone. No? How about we hit the streets and relive our days of Pacific and debauchery? Do you even have to ask? Now this is a real city. More like Hong Kong than San Francisco. Although, Psy'd probably tell us Chicago doesn't hold a candle to the Big Apple. I wish we had time to fleece some dirtbag finance bro. Or tech industry cokehead while we're here. You know? Resurrect our old tag team box cons, just for the sheer fuckery of it. You set them up, I knock them down, like the good old days. It was fun. And it put food on the table. I can't lie, it was always part of the attraction. We made a good team. Like Robin Hood and his merry men. And twice as sexy. That guy, over there. I know. He lights up like a chandelier in a ballroom. Wake up, sheeple. The end is coming. Disciple. Kill you. What am I saying? It's all just lies. The world's not ending. Canada isn't trying to corrupt us. Canadians are nice people. City's not good for Yo, this way. Can't sleep, can't eat, can't think, can't brush my teeth, or shower, or take a No! Lady Justice is Why did I bad think they were out to get me? The president's That's just paranoid. Not everything's about me. God, I've got to get some sleep. Hey, uh, we know what you are, and we... Uh, lady, just keep walking. I don't want any trouble. We're not trying to cause trouble. We, uh, we know because I'm the same. I know some special words. Shit. You shouldn't be talking about this out in the open. Justice got ears, you know. But, yeah. My slam poetry has some real slam to it, you feel me? That's why I don't do live gigs no more. Too dangerous. Last time it got explosive. People thought it was part of the show. I got lucky, but you want to keep a low profile. They catch you, you're dead. Me and my friends, we're leaving the city tonight. Friends, as in compatriots, equally talented individuals seeking a new life elsewhere, safe from, from this. Oh, I'm good. You're good? You didn't pay me to be. Man, I grew up here. My people are here. I can't go nowhere else. And it's not like I'll be safe here anywhere else. Folks like us, we're hunted wherever we go. Better stay put and fight for what we have and run forever. You know? But thanks for the invite. Us uh, deviants. Gotta look out for our own. 
peace and love, lady. And hey, take the mixtape. The gift. From one freak to another. Best look out for the cops, lady. They're everywhere. And you folks look conspicuous. All the noise around the new Lady Justice is in a bad mood. The President's goon squad's fighting the rising tides of change. Anyway, just trying to make a living selling music here. My own stuff and uh, other people. I make killer mixtapes. This tape's got it all, man. Death metal, rap, spoken word, neo-psychedelica, K-pop, and orchestral interludes. Just 20 bucks. Bargain. The revolution begins with art, probably ends in flames. What do you think of that? What? Politics? I couldn't give a flying fuck who's in charge. Nothing ever changes. Stealing my thoughts. That's crazy. I'm sorry, I, I'm just having a bad day. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're watching. My job is your shield against disorder. Wait. That's not true. Deviants walk among us. The machines are okay. We control the machines. They don't control us. I need a drink. Remember your ABC. Always be cautious. Eyes open, ears closed. Do you know that Henry back there? That weird loser who keeps bothering me? No thanks, hon. He's like totally obsessed with me. I can't blame him, but like chill, do you know what I mean? Anyway, welcome to Betty's 2.0. We're talking a whole new concept with an urban vibe. Unfortunately, we're about to close, but please stop by again in the morning for a duck liver mousse brioche breakfast bun. Can eliminate the deviant threat. Justice Unemployed robots. That's new. It should be easy to retrain, no? Or at least reprogram. Hey, you're uh, Henry, right? I recently met a Betty and she wanted you to have this. She misses you. Oh, I can't take this. Look at me. I'm no good for Betty like this. No job. No station, no prospects. That Betty down the street doesn't even recognize me. What does that tell you? No, give it to another Henry. One more deserving of her love. Take it, please. All right, you insist. But next time you see Betty, Please give her this for me. It's a song I wrote. She should know the truth of her Henry. How far he's fallen. But don't give it to that Betty down the street. She wants nothing to do with me. Hello, Henry. Oh, don't talk to me. I don't even deserve the name, seeing as I have no standard energy station to call my own anymore. They shut it down and told me to scram. Just leave me to my misery, please. Unemployed robots. That's new. It should be easy to retrain, no? Or at least reprogram. If this is how you sickos react to a simple slogan. I can't imagine how you and see what happens. Shit, dude. Come on, man. She didn't mean it like that. We're just... We're just artists, okay? I mean, sure, it's Medina Castillo. Because at least no she's one's not found a narcissist or Pack? What am I saying? I don't even 
didn't have kids. Got any cash? I'm saving for a winter coat. Spare change? Just fine. I don't have any cash on me. Sorry. You and everyone else who walks past. It's okay. At least you didn't just pretend I don't exist. That's something. Just five bucks could at least buy me a scarf or something. Come on, give me a hand here. You got any cash? I used the last of my pocket change back in the promised land. Best look out. Best look out. Because at least she's not a narcissist. A deviant free republic is a strong republic. Help me help you keep us safer by staying vigilant. You know the rules. He could. Bar's not Best high, Jennings. For the cops, lady. They're Got no station to call. So because at least she's not a narcissist or a Nepo kid. Not helping. Look, we're let's keep going. This is where we're meeting your contact, Theo. Classy join. Looks like my kind of place. Why pick a place with bouncers? Seems a little short-sighted, Theo. This was supposed to be a discreet bar no one ever goes to. Not sure what's going on. Pax, can you check it out? Hey, you folks on the guest list. No walk-ins tonight. If you're not on the list, you walk away. Guest list only tonight. We're just having a quick drink. You won't even notice us. If you're not on the list, get lost. They're okay, Marshal. I don't blame them for trying to get in. The place is cooking tonight. Means Lisa. Lisa who? There's no Lisa on my list. Sorry, there are two ticketed events tonight. A private party and a concert. We're already at capacity. How can you not be sick and tired of all the freeloaders and losers? Don't you know who I am? I'm lead singer of the Dustborn. You don't recognize me? We're playing tonight. Oh, yeah. Sure, I, uh, I recognize you, but... Maybe you're famous, but if you're not on the list, you're not getting in. Got it? I'm sorry, Lisa. Big fan. Love your work. But we're full, and your name isn't on the list. Maybe call your agent or something. Figure out what's going on with that. Guest list only tonight. No? Some help? Sure. That's a thankless job, yeah? Being a doorman, everyone hates you. Talking shite about you behind your back. I get it, I do. I mean, you're only doing your job. Just like the Nazis. Whoa, hey, no. No, no, that's not us. We're not Nazis. Christ, no, we hate the Nazis. That's exactly what I'm saying, mate. You're not like them. You know how to think for yourself, make your own choices. 
We don't blindly follow commands. So maybe give us a pass. Let us in. Show that you've got a mind of your own. Yeah, yes, yeah. You got it. Go on in. Theo, this is not great. Oh, well, I wish your contact had given us a heads up about, you know... This was obviously not the plan. Is this a birthday party? Is that cake? Do you think we could have some? Please stay here while I check if our contact has arrived early. And try not to look... conspicuous. No problem. Well, it might be a little problem. Just a little... You know, I saw David in Boys Town the other night. Can you believe it? No shit. David. No shit. David. I'm telling you, he was walking out of a club with some guy. Damn. I never would have guessed. And we can't even say shit about it now that justice is gone. Woke. Right? It's like, just let us make some good-natured jokes about it. But no. Yeah. Hang on. What were you doing in Boys Town? Uh... So how does this whole thing work? It's a contest, right? How are they going to pick a winner? I'm sure they have judges and criteria or whatever. I didn't see any judges. Doesn't mean they're not there. Or maybe whoever the crowd cheers for the loudest is the winner. Wisdom of the masses. Well, there are only a couple bands left. I guess we'll find out soon. I never would have thought you dummies could pull off a surprise party, but goddamn, I didn't see it coming. And the cake is actually good. Tastes way better than it looks. David made that cake. He's been taking cooking classes in Logan Square, you know. Classic David. That motherfucker is the talk of the town lately. I need to thank him. So how does this whole thing work? It's a contest, right? How are they going to pick a winner? E excuse me. Hey, barkeeper. Uh hey, you friends of Sharon. We heard her friends are running late. Are you them? Hey, did you send out those invites to the 7th Precinct, like I asked you to? Sure. Sharon and us go way back. We're actually... <laughs> She's joking. We're not here for a party. We're just here to drink. And... You in a band? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> How did you know oh, that? Oh, so you're here for the Battle of the Bands. Better hurry, show's almost over. <clears throat> Come on, uh... I'll show you to the green room. Where's your contact? Are we going to make our meeting? It's early. They won't be here for another hour or so. Let's just play our set and then... We're missing our drummer. Playing with outside... I've observed you all playing many times. I can pitch in. Maybe not as a drummer, but I will contribute. We have a bigger problem. Are you guys seriously drunk right now? When did you even have time to get drunk? <laughs> wow, you know, people are so stupid. They just leave drinks lying around, unsupervised. It's true. See? Oh, can I have one? We can't go on stage like this. Who decided to make bread in the carbonated water anyway? I don't know. I don't- Okay, you need to get it together. Come on, Pax. They're just having some fun. Everything's been so dire since Sai left. You could let off some steam too. I don't need to- Is this really a good time for a toast, Eli? Yes. To Sai and to friends lost to the road. May Bitu Man watch over them all.
That's so thoughtful, Eli. It's very, it's very thoughtful, Eli. Sai would really appreciate that. Guys, we need to prepare for the concert. This is how a rock band prepares for concert packs. I'm always at my most prepared when I'm drunk. Does that also apply to riding your bike? Of course not. I never drink and drive. I'm talking about performing. I figured she would. Stop drinking and you get this shirt, Z. A short. Whoa, what whoa, shirt? whoa, whoa. Pax? Pax. Hold up. This is my motherfucking team. Dude, we should go to a sports bar. You know we're in the postseason, right? The Seattle Voidwalkers could make it to the series. Season, series, Seattle, whatever those things mean, I'll drink to it. I don't know. I don't know. Who decided to conflate red wine with the blood of Christ? You know? That'd be the Catholic Church, mate. Damn. I could go for some blood of Christ right Damn. I could go for some blood of Christ right now. Switch it up. You okay? You look a bit jittery. This is uncharted territory for me, and I'm pushing myself beyond my programming. No matter how it goes out there, I'll have experienced something new and grown as a person. However, I'll admit that I may look quite ridiculous being the triangle player for a punk rock band. Don't worry, CT. You're gonna do great. Or good. Or fine, at least. Is this your idea of a pep talk? Your rousing rhetoric could use some work, all due respect. I know you like a good party, but I expected you to take this a little more seriously. I haven't had a decent drink in ages, love. Forgive me for jumping at an alternative to the petroleum gasoline Soul passes off as moonshine. Be that as it may, you're Be not- Be that as it may? Who talks like that? You. You do. And you need to get it together before we go on stage. I'm perfectly together. I'm the togetherest I've ever been. Theo's already stressed enough about tonight. Well, Theo's welcome to talk to me himself, if he has a problem. And two, head for the stage entrance as soon as possible. Time for a test run, guys. Let's at least try to do a good job tonight. Remember our first gig? At the border? We made it through, despite the disastrous performance. Just saying. One, two, three, four. We took a leap of faith, leaving no trace, escaping the gig grind, looking for a better place. No.
feel ready, Pax? Ready as we'll ever be. Do you think we're ready? The crew's half drunk, but so's every other band out there. I'm honestly more worried about not having Sai on stage with us. We've never played without her. We should probably rehearse while we can. You're right. We should rehearse. Doesn't hurt to be prepared. You guys ready to go on stage? We're ready. Keep it up for the Death Ball! One, two, three, four.
Thanks, folks. We've been the Dustborn. That's right. That's my band, y'all. Dustborn, the reigning champions of the battle. Please form a single line for autographs. I don't think we Listen should. Listen up, y'all. We'll be signing napkins, flyers, and clothing only. No body parts, please. Please, no. Well, some body parts. Maybe. We're here to meet someone. We need to lay low. Barkeep, and... shots, and open up a tab for us. Eli, I thought you'd gotten all the drinking out of your system. We need to be sober and alert when our contact arrives. Hey, yo, I got them for us on the house. Only the best for my superstars. Now this is just getting out of hand. Is that Blue Creek whiskey you got there? You betcha. Well, uh, one drink couldn't hurt. It's all about confidence. You gotta believe in yourself. Fifty dollars says he doesn't make it. I'm sorry, Eli, but it's a tough shot. Oh, come on, I can make this shot in my sleep. Fifty bucks, he makes it with his eyes closed. Have you played billiards before, Ziggy? Excuse me? No, I haven't played pool before. Neither of you have any money. You got it, Eli. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Technically, you said he'd make it with his eyes closed. Therefore, I do not owe you $50. Again, neither of you have money. To sigh. May our roads converge again in the future. And may we all find our way to personal and political freedom in the days to come. Intense cheers, mate. To sigh. To sigh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There you are, <laughs> the woman of the hour. The Pax of the hour. Power. Man, I dreamt about this as a boy. On tour with all my best friends. Playing for adoring crowds. But then I think about Sai out there on her own. I should have been a better friend to her. To everyone. To you, Pax. Cheers to for you, that, bud. Shh. This is the good part. Come on now. Hey, sing along if you know what I mean. There are good. Ways to cry. Ooh, hey, sing along if you know what I mean. There are good ways to die. Ooh. <laughs> I love this song. To Sharon. Death to justice. Ah, uh, he didn't mean that. Who gives a shit? I'm retiring, bitches. <laughs> hey, my husband and I saw you from across the bar, and we'd love to buy you a drink. You and your husband? Uh... Okay. uh did someone... Pax, did your gnome put her up to this? Oh, he'd love to get a drink with you. Actually, we both would. If you have room for a fourth. Right, Theo? I, uh... Uh, I, uh... Oh, oh! Did, did you hear that? I, I think Ziggy's calling me. Oh, that's too bad. Leo always loves the shy ones. I... I don't know. I've never done this before. It's time for everything, CT. You got this. Woo! But yeah! Yes, sick moves. And that's when I realized that I'm not just a nanny or a caretaker, or Justice's facsimile of a domestic woman. I'm more than that. I'm a conduit for the universe. I'm a synthesis of the most human traits and the most robotic ones. And a being like that transcends gender. I feel, simply put, beyond it. What the fuck? Oh, Ziggy, I was trying to have a moment here. You know what, you've like 
inspired me? Maybe I should do some soul searching too. You know what, actually? We all should do some soul searching. Where do you like him? He loves soul searching. Is he? Oh. I think he loves soul searching. Anyway. Anyway. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cause you. <sighs> Thank you, Ziggy. That's very kind. <laughs> Oh. oh, Pax, Pax, there you are. I love you guys. Look at us. Look at where we are now. We're out in the real world. We're, we're having so much fun. And we're helping each other. Really helping. You know, just one big happy family. Or I guess we would be if I was still here. You know what? Don't worry, Pax. 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 It's okay. It's okay. She'll come back. I hope she does. She needs us. You know, like we need each other. Don't we? We need each other. Oh God. Oh God. Hey Z, uh, what you said earlier. Did you want to unpack that further or? No, I don't. <coughs> I don't need to pack it on further packs. I need to. <laughs> I need to get this out of my system. I've got you, sis. <coughs> Why do good things happen to bad people? Or, you know, wait, fuck! Am I improving? Can't improve on perfection, CT. Ziggy, you're looking better. Hey, what can I say? The show must go on. I just got the message. The meeting is not happening. What? Why? Look around. Would you risk meeting here tonight? Bartender just gave me a note. Cody. It translates to Rotown, New York, and address Concord Avenue. So, Detroit. Great. Let's no! go. No! Pax, no, no! Stop, stop! No, we're good! We are fine! Okay, let's stay! Let's just stay, please. Leaving it sounds like a smart idea, Pax. But they haven't even turned on the ugly lights yet. Uh, where's Gnome? Uh, I think... Where's Gnome? Where's Gnome? Oh yeah, I think they went to pee. Or poo, the poo, the poo. <laughs> What's it called? Toilet. Oh, maybe they, uh... Maybe, where... I'll get them to the train. Pax, can you follow with Gnome? I have a feeling you'll catch up. Yeah, but don't get in another fight, okay? Like, not without me. Pax Come is on. Good. She can go another, what, 20 minutes without an argument? Easy. Let's go. And please... Remember the buddy system. <laughs> so, how long have you worked here? A couple of years. Why? Just wondering if the musical Justice crossover episode is a regular thing, or if we just got lucky. Let the regular about tonight. We're rarely double booked, especially by cops. Guess I am lucky. The Dustborn, right? I remember you. That was a great show. And a well deserved win. It's your first time playing here, right? Sure. We've been on tour for a couple of weeks. You must have all sorts of stories. Oh, the things I could tell you. No, we need to go. I'm kind of in the middle of something, Pax. You know, before I was a bartender, I was in a band. No tours. We, were, we weren't half bad. We weren't at your level, of course. You guys have a real future. I'm sorry, but... I'll be with you in a second. A band, huh? You'll have to tell me all about it. Come on. The others are waiting. Wait another minute or ten. Sure. I think the crowd's thinning out. I've got time to talk. 
Love to hear it. What was your band called? Well, weren't we called? You know how it is with that much bands. <laughs> what was our first name? Gaffer tape. Cut it out. This one has stuff to do. Hey, if you could just go back to doing your job, that'd be great. Jesus, Pax. It's all good. You misheard. It was a joke. My friend is just being a bitch. And I could use another drink. Yeah? Uh, yeah, sure. Just give me a minute. I'll shake up something special on the house. What about these? What the hell was that? You're jealous. That it? Or is this just about doing your job, like usual? You're both being incredibly annoying. But who cares? That's not why... We need to go. We've been fucking around all night and suddenly I am being too annoying. Be honest. You can't stand that I'm interested in spending time with anyone else. I know we're over, okay? But I'm starting to think that's not even what you want. You're drunk, no. But I'm not wrong. You string me along for years. Keep me around to clean up your messes. Let's not pretend this was a one-way street, no. You've benefited equally from our dysfunctional relationship. What does that mean? No, really, what does that mean? How many times did we mess with people because we thought it was amusing? I'd set them up, you knock them down, antagonize, pacify, rile up, gaslight. It's practically compulsive. You're right. We did. And it is. And maybe there's an argument for us being as far away from each other as possible. So now what? You need me to repent for my crimes. We've always done what we had to do, both of us. Admit that you enjoy manipulating people and playing the hero who fixes everything. You can't avoid every consequence and emotion forever. You have to face them, not wave a wand and wish them away. I'm not sure you should be the one talking. Don't give me another lecture on Sai. You can deflect all you want. You're just proving my point. I'm not saying you're a coward. I care about you still, and what you're doing isn't good for anyone. It's why we didn't work out. This is really what you think? You just woke up today and decided I have to do better? Yes, no. I've been vindictive before, but that's not where this is coming from. This isn't superiority. I've made mistakes and no one lets me forget it. But I thought that if any two people can be honest with each other, it's us. Let's get out of here. Theo's waiting. We're probably too late. Let's just check this place out. Maybe... Oh, excuse me. Hold us. up. We know you. Sorry, officers. No autographs. I wasn't talking to you. Yes, we do know you. Boulder, Colorado, a couple of days ago. You were traveling on a bus. And carrying a plant. The motel, right. <laughs> How Mind are you? Mind telling us what you were doing there? And why you didn't stick around after the explosion? Kim, there's no need for an interrogation. I'm Prater Walker. This is Prefect Kim. I apologize, I'm not good with names. What was yours again? I don't want to have to guess and embarrass myself. Oh, it's Rosa. Rosa. Right. Where was, uh... Where was this one at the time? This one? Were you there? They were taking care of some errands. Huh. Glad to hear it, given the motel went up in flames. Me too, officer. Me too. Only problem is... You told us a very different story at the motel. I'm sure the dramatic events may have clouded your memory, but maybe you can shed some more light on the matter. Why were you at the motel minutes before it went up in flames? 
with a potted plant for some reason. I was trying to book a room for the night. Again? With your plant? Plants are people too. Well, I think that's all. Do you have any more questions, Prefect? Yeah. See, first off, that motel was front to a terrorist op. Also, did you and your crew make a stop at a Rocky Mountains tourist attraction earlier in the day? The surviving justice officers reported being assaulted by a black woman with a bat. Max, stop! Run! Hey, where's the fire? We're... someone's after us. They think they can hassle Lisa. The gun. Where are you going? Sorry, gotta catch a train, mate. Go, don't end up like us. I'm the city itself. The buzzing neon. The faceless voice. The sudden thought. The music bringing people together. Sacrificed himself for us, but why? I spoke to him, told him we were. I guess he hated justice even more than we do. We need to disembark at the next station, and we need to drive through the night to get as far away from Chicago as possible and make our meeting in Detroit tomorrow. Justice knows who we are, they know about the bus. They're attacking the Weave. No more mistakes. No more screw-ups. No more drinking. Everything's changed. This mission's on the line, and I won't let it all go to hell. meeting happening, Theo? I don't like being exposed after last night's shit show. Soon. We're early. Some guy died saving our asses. Doesn't that bother... <sighs> Doesn't that bother you? We don't know that he died. Well, he went Nova. Either that killed him, or Justice did. Dead's dead, Theo. Pax said she tried to recruit him. He made a choice to sacrifice himself. Look, we got out of Chicago. Justice doesn't know we're here, but Theo's got a plan, right? So aside from the hangovers, we're all good, right, Theo? I'm not saying I didn't have fun before it all went to hell. And a hangover's a small price to pay, but it could have ended in disaster. We're here now, and the bus is not going anywhere. It can't go where we're going. I'll fill you all in on the details once we've met with our Nova Scotia contacts in a little while. We're early, so let's just stay put and lay low. By tonight, we'll be out of the country. This is where I was created. Huh? Detroit. Rotown. In the robot factories. I guess it's... home. What's eating her or them? I forget what conclusion CT came to last Just night. Just let it be, Eli. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can, can, can you just dial it back, like, 40%? I warned Please. you nope. about I the drinking. Sorry. Although, I, know. I did Shut leave up. my gloves Please. at Shut the bar. This will pass. Okay, we survived. We learned, well, I, I learned something. 
There's more than one way to fight back. That guy died to save us, and we owe him and everyone like him. So we, we can't just run away from this. I found this little guy a few days ago. Someone had dug it up. Oh, this is a red oak sapling. They have beautiful and stately trees. My grandparents had one in their garden in Jersey. My gramps claimed it was a thousand years old. I, I don't know about that, but it was old. And there was definitely something magical about it that inspired my, my love for all things that grow. I wish you'd gotten it to me sooner. It needs replanting and care. But I'll find a place for it to settle. Brought something back from the bar for you. What the fuck is... Sorry. The hell is this? Not that much of an improvement. <sighs> Suppose I do like starting things on fire. Almost got you blown up that one time. Reminds me, I... I once ignited the gas tank of an armored car from a hundred yards away with just a double-A battery, three matches, and a handful of... Okay, you know what? You win. This is a pretty good gift, champ. How's she doing? Hard to tell, but she can read the room. She knows something's up. And then again, don't listen to me. I'm just a babysitter because the robot's navel-gazing and the feral girl's taking a break. Oh, don't give me that look. Feral's a compliment. I admire anyone who's able to survive out there on their own. And Boy Wonder is trying to cure your sister's hangover. He can really hold his alcohol. I'm pretty impressed. So I'll handle the kiddo while the grown-ups are dealing with whatever shit, uh, sorry, whatever crap you think you need to deal with. Hey. Football jersey. Can't say I was expecting that. Your timing is interesting, but the gesture is appreciated. I've always been a fan. And sometimes a player. I played with the guys in the band, with my Tia, when I was younger. They play better in Mexico, but I spent a good decade cheering for the waves. Can't get caught dead wearing it on the East Coast, though. Morale's flagging. I'm as lost as they are. That's the problem with becoming part of this group. I lost perspective. They need someone to take care of them, and I feel like I'm failing them. I thought I'd prepare for all eventualities, but now I'm at a complete loss about what to do. We have to assume they're coming after us now. Let me know when you're ready to go meet our contact. There's still time, if you want to check in with the others, or just walk around for a bit. We got lucky last night. You and No got lucky. The rest of us were never in danger, just inebriated. I got caught up in camaraderie. That's so unlike me, and I'm sorry. Man, I'm thirsty. Remind me. Who are we meeting, and why? One of Nova Scotia's people in Toronto. He does business on both sides of the border, so he's able to cross the bridge. He'll get us north, out of the Republic, before we return through Maine. We'll still need to stay off the radar in Canada. The last thing they want on their hands is a bunch of wanted fugitives from the Republic. That'd be a diplomatic nightmare. I don't know exactly how they plan to get us across the bridge, but... We'll have to ditch the bus. Justice will be looking for it. Should have bought some water at the last service station we visited. I'll walk around for a bit. Let me know when you're ready to head in. So, home. I suppose. It's where I was manufactured and assembled, alongside countless other labor bots, combots, drones. Mindless machines. This is a wildflower. I think they call this butterfly weed. I was surprised to find anything growing here in the middle of October. It's a hostile environment for a tiny flower to bloom. But I guess with the factories falling apart and the humans having moved on, 
Life has room to grow again. This whole trip, I've been trying to figure out who I am, who I should be, and I think this is it. I have faith in a greater purpose, Pax. We aren't going through this journey for nothing. We're part of something bigger. Time to go? Time to go. Eli, Ziggy, we could use some backup. Why meet here, in this desolate industrial wasteland? I think you just answered your own question. This must be paradise for you, Z. This place is littered with dobots. Dobots? Dead robots, Theo. Obviously, Motown's a graveyard filled with dobots. It's time for a scavenger hunt. Hopefully these things won't wake up like they did back in the school. Do you? CT knew these guys? Do you think they were, like, friends or family? This is it. Z, Eli, can you stay out here and keep watch? I don't want to spook our contact. And I also want a heads up if anything... If anything happens, we'll knock two times. And if everything's fine, we'll knock three times. No, that's just confusing, Eli. We need to plan not just for a worst-case scenario, Ziggy, but also for the best. Fine. Just keep watch, let us know. And if anything happens, we'll regroup at the bus. So, this is where they made them. Made what? The ARC models, like CT, the Henrys and Bettys. They built them in Rowtown, before the noise. These factories have been abandoned for decades. Why the sudden interest in robotics? Know thy enemy, Theo. So, where's this contact of yours? They'll be here. Nova Scotia has never not kept their word. They bailed on us in Chicago. The bar was flush with justice. If we had met there, we might all be behind bars. And we can't just keep driving east, hoping to make it to Maine on our own. They're looking for us now. We have to ditch the bus and cross into Canada. So, we wait until they show up, even if it takes all day. This is the right place. Yes. They're late. They'll come. I do not like wait. <laughs> Don't put your germs on me. I told you, it's allergies. It's not allergy, it's the flu. Why are there? <laughs> Yeah, watch out! He has the flu! Please! Be quiet! What? Why are there two of you? There was only supposed to be one of you. We're looking for batteries. Those are some nice shoes, mister. What the hell are you talking about? Batteries? You're late. Max? We're looking for batteries. Those are some nice shoes, mister. Nice shoes? I, I, I don't get it. Oh, right! The code phrase. I forgot. Uh, uh... Thanks. I just had them... shined? That's... that's not the right Oh, screw this. 
You're Theo, I'm Desmond. Nova Scotia sent me, and this person is Mrs. Ah! No names. Just Nai Nai is fine. You're breaking protocol. We're running late since this one refused to cooperate. I, I don't have time for protocol and all that spy crap. Who's the girl? Theo, you didn't say anything about a, a lady in a wheelchair. I'm no lady, and this is no wheelchair. This is a robo. It's amazing. And I could kick your ass any day, young woman. <sighs> okay, let's get on with this. Who is she, Desmond? We were told it was going to be just you. Seems we were both caught unawares. She's a noble. You're taking her to Nova Scotia. I'm going what? with them. There's no time to... <laughs> oh. <sighs> Look, clock's ticking. Everyone is just gonna have to deal. You're going with them, and you're taking her. And now, we need to get going. Hold on. We don't even know what the plan is. I'm not rushing out of here until I understand what's going on. Christ, I... Fine, fine! We have, a uh, a few minutes. What do you need to know? How do we get across the bridge? Why did you leave us hanging at the bar? I, I, uh, there... There, there were, um, reports. Justice activity. I mean, I couldn't risk... Oh, and, and, and this one was handed to me, and, 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 and getting her into the city. <sighs> Look, changes happen, schedules shift. You got the message, and you're here now. Can we just get on with things? We have a truck. You and your crew will have... Why are you so nervous? Nervous? I'm not nervous. But we're on a schedule here, and we need to get going. Whose schedule? Yours? Justice is looking for you guys, yeah? I think it's in your best interest to leave as soon as possible. We have a truck. You and your crew will have to get in the back together with Nai Nai here. Where's this truck? Close. How do you know Justice is looking for us? Did you tell him that, Theo? I... It I doesn't you matter, that? and you're wanted people, and we need to get you out of Detroit and the Republic too. Fucking sweet! Close. Is that all? Because we really should get good. No more questions from me. Thank you. Please, go round up your little gang and let's all regroup outside. I'll take you to the truck. It's, it's just on the other side of the tracks. And please, hurry. We have a schedule to keep. Um, anyway, some contact you got there. They can't all be winners. Stop mumbling. It's impolite. Yes, ma'am. I love a man who knows his manners. Lead the way, sweet cheeks. Keep your mouth shut or those snipers will fire. You'll be dead Prefect, before you say- Prefect, please. We don't want to kill you, but like Prefect Kim just told you, we have snipers on all the rooftops. No one's here to go Nova and save you this time, deviants. We're taking you into custody for multiple offenses, including the murder of justice officers, incitement to violence, terrorism, They would never put anyone in danger. So, where are you? And it's easy to throw on that. Bitch attack! Huh. 
We need to worry about these guys first. You mean before we worry about our yeah. friends? We can't help them if we're dead, right? Yeah, fair. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's just avoid murdering fascists. Steady on, Z. They're just doing their job. I've heard that one before. I'm sure they're. You're weak. I'm sure they're fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not fine. Oh, they're yeah. not yeah. I was hoping this would be a three knocks kind of thing. I'll be happy if we make it through the same. The quicker. Shit. Shit. I don't see anyone inside. CT? Hello. Oh, you're okay. Was there anyone else on board? Everyone's safe. Let's get you out of here. Force field. Words won't do much. What we need are. We got a way through. Stop meeting like this. Uh, so, Pax, this is the guy who needs to really say this to you? Sure is. This guy is... <laughs> Pax, why aren't you answering with him? Dire circumstances, the energy isn't right. All I'm hearing is Pax likes talking to us. There's not much competition right now, but yes. Hell yeah. Well, you know everyone likes talking to me, right? Not everyone. <laughs> this guy for you. Only three. Oh, 
Jesus. Told you. In my defense, they keep running. Move! Uh, so, in my defense, they keep running into me. It's not like I seek them out. But you do go day, and they're clearly willing to I'm not sure now's the time for constructive criticism. I think you would call it constructive. What, not constructive enough for you, Eli? I'm not sure. No! How to mess around. It's not our best work. We're running on fumes here. You suck. Justice final boss? I should have never introduced you to video games, you know. I mean, that's a crazy thing to say, but also maybe you're right. Anyway. Who is this guy? Pax has bumped into him three times now, so I guess... Bitch attack! behind you dead soldiers some of them you just could have just left us alone you and your kind are a danger to our society you need to be contained i gave you a chance to surrender peacefully just but now we'll shut up no one move or i kill him if you hurt the prey, he doesn't need to get hurt if everyone just backs off. They won't do that. Just put down your weapon and we can talk. Lady, please shut up. Any smart ideas? I'm all out. You're not going to kill this dude, are you? I don't want to, but we're in a bit of a pickle, Eli. So what do we do? Can we use our Vox? What, on all of you guys, including the woolly birds? I don't know about you, but I can't shout that loud, Eli. We can use this to broadcast to our Vox, but who's vocals and, and what? I can scare them, but I'm not sure that'll help us escape. Wait a second. If we use my new Vox combined with yours... What do you mean by new Vox? Bring out bitumen, Eli. The asphalt god won't do much. Trust me. Give it a shot, and I'll help. Okay, sure. And so he appeared, the tar dude, rising from the cracked concrete and molten asphalt. And he was the size of a skyscraper. Oh, uh, the size of a skyscraper.
good man. He actually thought it was possible to save you people, that you could be reasoned with. Look where that got us. If he dies, I'll hunt every single fucking one of you until the world is rid of deviants. And I'm starting with you. Anything for them. Shit! Shit! Pax! Uh, <laughs> Everybody get in. Where's CT? They're not coming, but Pax is. Fuck! Pax? Pax! What happened to her? I don't. I couldn't see. I couldn't see. So please help. She's not doing well. Someone just. Do something! Stay with me, babe. We'll, we'll be fine. How is she doing? Blood. It's too, too much blood. So, so, are you gonna do your thing? If you give me some room, I'll do what I can. I sing the body electric. The armies of those I love engirth me and I engirth them. They will not let me off till I go with them, respond to them, and discorrupt them and charge them full with the charge of the soul. Is it working? I, I hope so. I never know what fucking poem to use. The whole thing's a mystery. It's not just her, she's... She's pregnant. What do you mean? Oh, she... wow. What? <sighs> okay, okay. I'll try another poem. Can death be sleep when life is but a dream? And scenes of bliss pass as a phantom by. Why the hell are you talking about death when she's... Shh! See? The transient pleasures as a vision seem. And yet we think the greatest pain is to die. How strange it is that man on earth should roam. And lead a life of woe. But not forsake. His rugged path nor dare to view alone his future doom which is but to awake In President Samuel Ward's best-selling, groundbreaking, and stirring non-fiction history of the American Red Squirrel. Please turn that down. I don't want to hear anything more about squirrels. There's supposed to be a briefing on the Rotown incident. We were there, Kim. I'm not sure we need the official agiprop. From the mind of our nation's great leader comes a book for the ages about the humblest and most noble of God's creatures. Squirrels, our greatest national treasure by President Samuel Ward. Available now wherever fine books are sold nationwide. Mm, this is it. Citizens, good morning. Why is the magistrate doing the briefing? That's unusual. Turn it up. I speak to you today as your duly elected leader of justice and faithful servant of our beloved republic. Why does it say breaking announcement? This is weird. Yesterday, our beautiful city of Detroit cradled. I was expecting them to keep Rotown under wraps until all the deviants have been caught. The carnage and destruction caused by these foreign agitators will not go unpunished. Murderous monsters acting on behalf of neighboring enemy states have struck a blow against justice, liberty, and everything this nation stands for. It's becoming clear that our great nation needs a leader who embodies all of our values. Diversity, inclusion, strength, health, 
She's awake. Sorry about the restraints. Standard procedure for deviants, I'm afraid. The fetus is okay. We didn't know. It's frankly a miracle you made it all the way you here without... You knew what without... you were doing, putting your unborn child at risk. Still, if I'd known, I wouldn't have... I hope you're not in too much pain. We just want to talk without... complications. How does that sound, Pax? Nothing official. Don't make my... <sighs> What's that? Did you try to say something? The only other alternative was a gag. We prefer less barbaric methods to prevent you from using illegal language. Pretty good, right? It's an experimental drug mixture. You can still talk, but your magic spells are useless. This conversation is long overdue. We've been on your trail since Boulder. And even before that, your mother's commune? That incident set off a lot of alarms. But it took a while to connect the dots and tie you to the Rockies Tourist Center. Took even longer to tie you to the altercation in the diner out in Utah. Those officers have permanent injuries thanks to you. That's when we realized we were dealing with... You call them divergence in Pacifica. My... mother? Remains on the run. She's not a concern of ours. For now. And you can help her, Pax, by cooperating. Enough people have died needlessly. You must see that. Another deviant went over in front of us all in Chicago. We simply want to stop you and your compatriots from hurting anyone else. Justice has facilities where your words will be under control. We know you're not monsters, Pax. The disorder infected you when you were children. You need help, structure, order. The best thing, the safest thing, for everyone is for you to tell us where your friends are and let us bring them in without unnecessary violence. Once they're all safe, we can figure out how to prevent more innocents from getting hurt. He's being very generous. You people are making new anomals. You're not looking to help us. You just want us out of the way. You what do you mean? She's lying. We found a child in the Rockies. Your people tried to murder her. She's a normal. Not even 10 years old. You're telling me she was a victim of a disorder that happened 30 years ago? We know what justice is doing. We saw your facility in Nevada. You're making anomals. That's not possible. Where was this? How did you... What the hell was that? Puritans. What? Is Pacifica staging an invasion? Maybe not Pacifica, but just... Walker here. Roger that. They're on the second floor. Already? How could they have gotten The past officers in the stairwell need assistance. Can you? Yes, sir. They're here for you, aren't they? I don't know what you're talking about. I have no interest in seeing the Puritans get their hands on you. Terminal, release restraints in room five. Authorization code Walker. What? I'm letting you go, Pax. Terminal, authorization code Walker 9745. I don't know why they're after you or want you dead, but this is our country. We make the rules here. But you listen to me, Pax. I will find you and your crew again. For your safety and your child's well-being, turn yourself in as soon as possible. They're coming up the north stairwell. Take the service elevator to the south, down to the garage. My people have bigger problems to worry about right now. They'll leave you be.
Oh, God. Sai, careful. The I know, Z. Let's go. Before either the justice or the puritans decide we are the enemy. What... What are you doing here? Saving your ass, bro. We had to get you to a real hospital. You were in a bad state. Lucky thing we had Nine Nine. The things that old lady Stop! Did. Eli! Do you... Remember what happened in Rotown? Getting... Stabbed and... CT? Th they're... Gone. Sorry. The van's waiting for us in the garage. The... the van? That traitor you met with in Rotown knew about the truck. Sigh. I... I think I can stand on my own feet again. I'm not letting you go quite yet, Pax. Let's go. Why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? She didn't tell me either. Okay, so you can't really complain about keeping secrets, okay? Secrets? What... secrets? Ask her. I, uh... It's complicated. So I... Sounds justice informant. That's not... I didn't have a choice. Oh, we always have a choice. You chose to betray us. Do you even know what justice can do to you? They were going to hurt my family. What kind of choice was that? She called Justice and Liberty and told him about the poppies. That's why they came. What? That's not true. Justice was already on their way. I was only trying to... Come on. Van's waiting. Well, it's no tour bus, but we'll fit. I'm just glad we ditched the truck after what nine I uh, Eli, no, we swore. You're late. Let's go. Who are you? I'm your goddamn messiah, Pax. Get in. Pax, I'll explain later. But we've gotta go. Wow, champ. You look like shit. Yeah, that's the drugs. Save it. We need to go. Now. The data key. I... I don't have it. Theo. Lost. In Rotan. It must have dropped out of your pocket when that bitch attacked you. No. You're alive. That's what matters. Stay low, Pax. We'll get out of here with Nine Eyes help. Oh, God. It, it, it'll be fine. Nothing will ever be fine again. Come on. You've seen much worse. No. Yeah. No one has. I'm 
It'll just be a couple of minutes. Fine, but hurry. Sorry for dragging you out of the van. Feeling okay? After- Soul's poetry helped. What's up with the old woman's box? Is she- Do not Never go again. There. We can't stay here. Every justice officer in the city's on high alert. I just needed a minute with you guys, alone. Away from- I think we can trust Not them. the point, Theo. This is personal. What? What? Where did you... We lost that in Rotown. You couldn't possibly... It's have... a copy. I actually bought three. S. Mart had a deal. I copied the purity data onto a second key while you guys were checking on packs. I was supposed to give the duplicate to justice in exchange for... for my family... and a pardon. That's the duplicate. I gave justice a third key with just bullshit on it. I guess the mission's back on track? You all know I was in juvie. What I did not tell you was that I was facing more than a decade behind bars. For fucking graffiti. So when Justice told me there was a way out, I knew if I stayed inside, they'd eventually discover what I was. I'd never see daylight again. After I got out, I met with a handler every couple of weeks. I told them just enough to keep them happy. But I never sold anyone out. Then one day, they inform me I'm being sent to Pacifica. If I resist, they'll put me back behind bars. They smuggled me across the border as a refugee. At first, they wanted me to attend some protests. Get cozy with Republic expats, small stuff. After a few years, they went silent. I figured they'd forgotten about me. Then, about a year ago, someone shows up tells me to volunteer for the Medina Castillo campaign. So that's what I do. I keep them informed. It's not like I know much. But my handler isn't happy. Says they need more. Or I'm toast and... And they will arrest my whole family. Put them on trial for harboring a terrorist. When Theo offered us this assignment, it's like I've hit the jackpot. Justice would kill to get their hands on Puritan data. I tell them as little as possible, nothing about you guys, and they offer me a deal. Hand over the data key, slates wiped clean, and my family's safe. Did you tell Justice about Liberty? No. No. Well, sort of, but it's not what you think. I overheard one of the Camp Karens, Moon, talking to someone. Said she'd call the cops on those deviants. That they finally had a way to get rid of Annie. Justice were on their way. So, it was either tell you and make a run for it, or I called the number I had. Told them Moon was bullshitting. That Liberty was a drug operation, and if they held off until that evening, they'd be able to arrest the Kingpin. Unfortunately, they showed up way sooner than I'd hoped, and with a fucking army. But at least they weren't looking for anomals. Look, Liberty was doomed, no matter what. I was hoping to get everyone out before justice arrived, but... I I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you without revealing... everything. 
And I was afraid you wouldn't understand and... and leave me behind. But I did not sell them out, Pax. I tried to save them. All of them. And keep you safe. Which is why I... Which is why I left. The longer I stayed, the bigger the risk. For everyone. And I was getting sick from all the lies, so I figured... I figured Iowa was as good a time as any to get out. Hand over the duplicate of justice. Especially after what happened at dinner that night, but... I didn't. I couldn't. I mean, who knows what's on that thing? So, I gave them the third key. With a bunch of bullshit encrypted data on it. It'll take justice ages to crack it. If they find out it's mostly K-pop, boy, are they gonna be mad. After I give them the key, they release me, tell me I can go home, that my family's safe, but... When I finally get there... My dad calls the cops on me. Tells me they disowned me. Long ago, that I was a black stain on their flawless reputation. I was never gonna be what they wanted. Believing otherwise was a fairy tale. And here we are. I sacrificed this family for what I believed was my real family, and I'll never forgive myself for that mistake. But I had to explain myself before- Sai, I'm sorry. You are? I mean, thanks for not yelling at me, but I don't expect you to just forgive me. After my parents kicked me out again, I didn't know what to do or where to go. But I remembered the map and the location of the Bronx Library. So that's where I went. And that's where I met Ruth, the librarian, and... That's where I realized what I had to do. I can't just walk away. I can't leave the Republic again. I got it all wrong. I couldn't see that the whole time I was working for justice, I actually had power over them. I was feeding my handlers information to help them, but I could have just as easily fed them information to hurt them. When we left Pacifica, there was no way I could have played that game and won. But I've learned a lot. From you, Gnome, Theo. I might be able to do some real damage from the inside. I owe it to the people I've hurt to at least try. As long as it doesn't kill you. Maybe it will. I don't have your moxie and Vox. You would be great at it. Sai, I have a kid to yeah, think I, I about. I know, I know. I just don't get why you're putting your trust in some shadow entity instead of helping people here, where it matters. I don't owe the people in this country anything, no matter who they are. You don't. But we both know if anyone has the power to make a difference, it's you. Sorry to crash the party, but Ruth says, and I quote, if those goddamn fools don't get back in the van right now, we're leaving without them. End quote. Apparently they've started shutting down bridges and tunnels. Sai. I'm staying, Pax. She's not going to change her mind. I get the whole going home thing. And I admire you for owning up to all this shit, even if I'm not ready to forgive. Yet. I'll miss you, Noam. And you, Theo. You may be the biggest dork I've ever known, but you're a mensch, and I adore you. I know you're angry, and that's fine, but that's not gonna stop me. Sai. So, no. Nope. I... Fuck that. We'll see each other again, and I love you like a big sister. Stay safe. Hmm? This is the last mile. You'll make it. When we were in Chicago, I... I got this K-pop mix from a guy who... Well, you should have it. I got it for you. You? No way, dude. I never thought you'd... You don't even like K-pop. <laughs> No, but you do. 
Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. No hugs for me, though. I don't want any tears. You're... staying. I'm a militant motherfucker. Whatever the hell Justice are aiming to do, I'm aiming to stop them. That's hard work to do remotely. And honestly, the stuff this one said inspired me. Maybe I'll even introduce her to some people. This is your last warning, people. I'm pulling out of here in ten seconds. They're ready, Ruth. She'll take care of you folks. She's the best goddamn librarian we got. Now, let's clear the streets before the drones arrive. I know this little joint only 10, 15 minutes away. We can grab a beer and uh, call some folks. Sure. Is anyone going to tell me how you all made it to New York? That would mean getting into details about how Nine I use her Vox to- uh, No! No. We swore. Never again. I mean, she just did it again earlier today, Never so. again? Again. Oh, come on, guys. It wasn't that bad, was it? Speak for yourself, Theo. They just dulled all your senses. Hey, I'm not that much older than you. Why isn't she saying anything? <laughs> oh god, not again. Did you have anything to do with that disease spreading the scarfed weasel who manhandled me? Pardon? She means Desmond. Our contact, Detroit. Ah, uh, he's a... was a contractor. Never worked with him personally. We don't often have turncoats among us. Nova Scotia's due diligence track record is exemplary. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that young lady person. Whoa. It's bigger than I expected. I'd do anything for a swim right now. The Atlantic? In October? It's... beautiful. This is nothing compared to the Pacific Ocean. Oh. Let them have this. What are those buildings? One of many failed experiments. To save us all from the rising tides. The towers harness tidal waves to generate power. They might still be functional, but there aren't many of them left. There's a motel coming up in two miles. It's getting brighter. Maybe a good time to stop for the day. <sighs> you could have just gone at the motel. I figured there'd be rest stops. Can you guys uh, just give me a minute? I don't like to, uh... Talk when I... Talk when you what, Theo? He's pee-shy. He's... Oh my god. Theo's pee-shy! I hate you guys. So much. You're saying they didn't know about experiments on children going back two decades? No. They're just covering up. They must know. That's what it sounded like. You don't really buy that, do you? Look, I'm just telling you what they said. I don't know what the truth is. And I'm not sure I care anymore. Me neither. Um, why are we looking at a rodent? It's dead. Yes. 
A dead rodent. Why are we looking at a dead rodent? Because it's federally protected, it's Ward's favorite animal. We hit it with our car. That's a crime punishable with up to ten years in a federal prison. We need to get rid of it unless we want more attention from justice. Uh, I think we got their attention already. Skies, it's a squirrel. I've got this. Okay, push harder. Almost. Almost. Got it. Nice job. You'll be able to take over for Ruth in no time. The libraries are on the verge of extinction. We managed to keep them operational for decades, but now... But you can rebuild, right? You can't just let them win. We can try. It took the better part of my life to build the weave. And it's not easy to recruit people we can trust. But it's possible. Especially with the aid of people like you. Right now, we do the most good by getting you and your cargo to Nova Scotia. Hey, oh, check this out. Check this out what? Darling! Did you know Lady Justice named her dog after an organized crime syndicate? Get it? I'm no. <laughs> oh, I... I thought you were... No, never mind. Come on, tell me. It... you... the accent... It reminded me of CT. Oh, sorry. Let's, uh, talk about something else. Okay. Pax, who's the baby's father? Gnome said it's not theirs. Whoa, okay. Um. A guy I met back in Pacifica. Nobody you'd know. That's true. I don't know a lot of people. Pax, some guy from Pacifica, their kid, and us? One big happy family. Stop tapping on our seat. I'm trying very hard to astral project myself into a dimension with more leg room. Yeah, there are still functioning lighthouses. Justice converted them to scan the skies and monitor signs of a potential European invasion. Yep. Kind of morbid that these houses are still standing. The government's not about to spend money tearing these coastal towns down. You could go diving and find some valuable shit in there. Have you done a lot of diving? If you want to see me in a swimsuit, Tio, just ask! That's how I met my third husband. Never and mind. he... Ugh, Nai Nai! Do we need to stop again? <laughs> that could have been anyone! Don't look at me! Look at that child! Well, you're blaming the kid who doesn't speak? That's... There's a Betty's coming up in a few miles. You can all relieve yourselves. And eat! Ah, I'm starving.
Isn't everyone sick and tired of Betty's? Oh, boy, you've stepped in it now. Sick of Betty's? Dude, I've only tried, like, half of their menu, and I'm already looking forward to starting over. Uh, if you're sick of Betty's, you're sick of living. Are you sick of living, Theo? I had my- I'm kinda hungry. This won't take long, and I don't know when or if we'll have another chance to speak. Is it Jacob's? I ask because I assume you haven't been in touch with Jacob since Pacifica? It was after the sessions ended. We kept it completely professional while- I'm sure you did. Does he know about the pregnancy? He does. Why do you care? Do you know where Jacob is, Bax? I'll be seeing him soon. After the job is done. That's not what I'm worried about. I need to know if you're going to Nova Scotia to join us, or if you just see this job as a... a way out. You have a child to protect. Turning your back on the cause for what you consider a... a simple life must be quite tempting. What Saul and your friend Sai are doing is admirable, but... ineffectual. Sure, they might do some good before they burn out or get killed. But if you combine your powers and your device with Nova Scotia's resources, we might have a chance to save the Republic. Maybe even the world. I want you to consider it, Pax. You could be instrumental in the coming fight. I don't know what you expect me to do. I may not know as much as Jacob does, but I know enough what that device does, what your words can do to reality. I spent most of my life on the weave, building libraries from nothing. But you don't have to count up little victories over the decades like I did. If we can amplify your voice, you could change everything in an instant and do what I could never do. Use the hand you were dealt to create a better future for everyone. I just need to know what you're thinking. If you're open to continuing the good work, justice has been suppressing language and using it to control the people. We want to use it to free them, to give them autonomy again. I'm not asking for a decision. I know this journey isn't over yet, and things could happen. I can see the merits in working with you with Nova Scotia. Good. I'm glad I was able to get through to you. I'm not quite sold on it yet, but... You don't have to be. You can decide for yourself when you get there. Think it over until then. They'll be waiting for us. I can't say I'm hungry, but we should eat while we can. Welcome to Betty, sweet pea. Your friends have- This is for you. Oh. What- what is this? Henry's writing songs now, believe it or not. He wanted you to have a copy of the lyrics. Oh. Oh, these lyrics, they're... Got no Betty waiting for me at home. Hope the kids don't miss me too much when I'm gone. This is sad music, honey. Was Henry doing okay? I know he's a self-sufficient man, but I worry. He wasn't doing well. Out of work and worried. You'd be disappointed in him. Oh. Oh, for Pete's sake. That breaks my heart. He's always been a soulful man, but if he's not working and writing sad songs, I didn't even know that was possible. If he can change, maybe... Well, maybe I can too. And if I do change, will I end up... Sad? 
You've given me a lot to chew on, honey. Oh, and speaking of, I ought to get you something to chew on. <laughs> what can I get you to eat? Looks like you're eating for two today. I'll ask the chef bot to be extra generous. I'll have the mac and cheese. Last time I visited a Betty's, I didn't get to try it. Doing okay, hun? You look a little down. Just tired. I can imagine. Go join your friends, toots. I'll get started on your orders. And sweetheart, you're getting a slice of apple pie on the house. There I was, pretending to be the club owner's wife, and working as a pole dancer at the same time. I, I know what you're thinking. How could I pull that off? Costume changes, young ones. Costume changes. I also had to change my makeup every five seconds, so after a couple hours, my cheeks were redder than a baboon's ass. Whoa, 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 okay, whoa, 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 if anyone is Betty's favorite, it's me, okay? Bold claim to make to someone who literally camped out in a Betty's for weeks, months? You were there for a long time, oh. I wasn't keeping track. I'm still pulling for my boyish ch- Sai would have challenged you all to a duel for the honor of being Betty's favorite. I would have yielded. She's the original super fan. The Betty I knew was creepy. I didn't like her at all. This one's better. Not long until we're sipping Mai Tais on the beaches of Nova Scotia. Isn't Nova Scotia cold? Okay, metaphorical Mai Tais and beaches, but we'll be safe. And they will help us. And maybe we can relax for once. <sighs> that sounds good. What will you do when this is over, Z? Uh, not totally sure yet. But, Ruth got me thinking about the libraries. Well, maybe I can talk to those Nova Scotians about rebuilding their network. Because, I mean, this country is fucked without them, so... But, I also might have some responsibilities as an aunt in my future. And, I mean, that's... That's pretty important, too. I don't know, maybe Pax can help me figure out what I'll be doing next, but... Anyway, that's a conversation for later. Okay, so, I'm still pulling for my boyish charm to win her over, though. I think Betty- I think Betty appreciates men who are a little more mature, in every way. But by the end of the night, I'd scammed some investors out of six big ones, and I had a bra full of tips. And the club owner proposed to me the next morning. <laughs> you know you can tell me your name. Nobody would know. Except Pax, maybe. And she can keep a secret. Trust me. I know. Having a deep conversation over here? If I can guess her name, at least we have something. It feels wrong to smuggle her out of the country with no idea where she came from or who her parents are. I don't know how I feel about just leaving her in Nova Scotia with a bunch of strangers. I saw you with Ruth. Sorry for prying, but I have to say I'm curious. I don't know how high her position is in the weave, but I bet it's up there. She wants me to do more. Everyone wants me to do more. She made some good points, and I probably owe it to her to think it over. The weave has saved our butts on multiple occasions. This mission's changed things for all of us. I expected this to be a straightforward job. It's been anything but that. I know I'll never hear the end of it, but... Your family now. All of you. A strange family. But a good one. I never would have expected that when we were on the run in Pacifica, yelling at each other in the getaway car. Whatever you choose to do, I'm proud of you. Leading this crew across a continent, you've done something incredible. I'll never forget that. Yeah, love you too, Dad. Okay, Pax. As I was saying, is it Siomara? 
Or... Maya. I know those are... So anyway... Is it Siomara? Or... Since you're done with the Marilyn bio, here's something new to read. Oh, lovely. A ten-year-old Republic print magazine about C-list celebrities I've never heard of. This will be riveting. You know, with an actress for a mother, trash like this used to be such a tiresome violation of privacy. But then I got older, and I realized none of it was real, or hyperbole at best. And my perspective shifted. It might be rubbish, but at least it entertains. Pretty sure you're not supposed to smoke in here. Ugh, I'm not much for arbitrary rules, love. Part of my charm. But don't worry. This is my final fag. A gift from Ruth. Need to pick up another carton in Nova Scotia? No. I need a change. It took almost losing you to a psychopath with a badge to get me to quit. What kind of change? The good kind, hopefully. I need a bit of reform. Particularly in how I treat people. I've leaned on my Vox for too long. Used surviving as an excuse for it. I... want to do better. But that means I might have to take off for a while, after we see this through. Might even visit Mum again, if you can believe it. I thought you ought to know. So now you do. Like I said, is it Siomara? Or... Okay, folks, that's everything. Now you get in here and chow down while it's still hot. I am so ready for this. Oh my god, Theo, are you eating fried chicken? I... I don't just eat vegetables, you know. Yes, you do. You've seen me eat a hot dog. Have we, though? I don't remember that. I'm too tired. I don't know if you're joking or not. Speaking of tired, do they have coffee? Only the fake stuff, but... I ordered two pots. Only two? You obviously haven't been paying attention to Ziggy's caffeine intake. Oh, is that how you get your Zig? Lord, is that... It's that song. What song? From the car, in Pacifica. And the bar? Betty, could you turn that up for us? Come on now Hey, sing along if you know what I mean There are good ways to cry the best from the official Badlands Bar and Grill Battle of the Bands Champions! No? Great spooning. You've done a forking great job yourself. Sai would have loved this. She could play the hell out of some silverware, I bet. Alrighty, folks, here's your copy. Oh, finally! And, uh, we'll take a third pot when you have a chance. Please. Thank you. I'm hurt. fine. Just keep going. Come on. Don't be a crybaby. We can do this. We can do this. Did we lose them? I don't see anyone following us. Hopefully they didn't turn back to follow the rest of them. I don't think so. 
Most of them stuck with the car. The rest came after us. I think Theo made a clean escape with the others. All thanks to Nainai and her Vox. Don't... please. Not now. Not ever. And what about Ruth? She knew what she was doing, Eli. We can't worry about her now. Who are they? Well, I'm guessing Puritans. Justice isn't this Compton. That ship looked familiar. Justice would have just killed us. The Puritans want us alive, at least until they get the cargo. Ruth said the pier's on the south end of the peninsula, about a mile away. Didn't she say to also look out for a lighthouse? There's a light in the sky, in that direction. We keep to a straight line until we hit the ocean. Hopefully the others will be safe following the main road. Pax, is the baby going to be okay? With all the running and jumping... Oh, hey, the lighthouse! Come on, it's not far. How do we cross this in a straight line? I'm not setting foot in a bog. We sink like stones. We follow the path. Let's go. At least we know where we're going. Okay, so... Pax, is the baby going to be okay? With all the running and jumping, and you're already in... Wait, which... Uh... Did you guys hear that? Yeah, so... Pax is... Look, there. Is it a plane? Yeah, that's a Puritan ship, all right. They know we're here. Pax, is the baby going to be okay? With all the running and jumping, and you're already injured. Not, not helping. What do we do? Stay close to me, O. Like I said. There will be no negotiations this time. Put down the data key now, or we will kill you all and take it. We don't have it. You know you don't have the stolen EMP generator this time, right? It won't go well for you. Try us. All right. It hasn't been up so much for losing them. Well, they were bound to catch up with us sooner or later. Huh. Better us than the others. Why, the others? I mean, the Theo and I I I know. I hope they're all okay. I hope girl is okay. Well, she's not alone. Not as with them, and if you'll be in the box. I don't even want to think about that, but yeah. I'm huh. glad she's a girl. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, we're not gonna justice. I never thought I'd be glad to see those guys. Your shield's down. They'll be vulnerable. Anyway, it hasn't been a problem so far. We don't have much choice. Right. Just say something. How they find us? I don't know. Maybe someone reported the van. Maybe they followed the enemy. Surprise! Fighting each other. We should make a run for it. Pax, let's go. Looks like there's a bridge we can cross ahead. <laughs> our exit. Well, I'm glad one of us is ah! right. We'll have to hold them off until we figure something else out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like what? Surprise! Ah! Stand still. Yeah, 
I lost him. Maybe when the ship went down. I'm just thinking about it. I will. to get you. Just surrender the data. It's the only thing she wants from you. And what do you want? What do I... I want what she wants. She's trying to make a better world. We have common enemies. I don't know why you can't see that. She wants to murder anomals. She wants to cure the world. Unmoderated language is destroying the fabric of society. You must realize that. We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good. And she understands better than most what's required. I'm sure you believe that, but we're not ready to be sacrificed. And we don't have the data. So let's just get on with this, okay? I'm really disappointed. So you're disappointed in us? Of course. You've been disappointed. Everything you say sounds like it's borrowed from your boss. It's an honor to Bitch attack! See what I mean? You are tiresome. You can walk away anytime. I won't stop you. It's not the fighting that exists. It's the challenge. Trust me, you're not exactly the ideal conversation of this Girl power! You know where the data is. You can tell me and be done. Can we dignify that for that chance? You're weak. You are vastly outnumbered and outmatched. There are no religious fanatics coming to save you. Oh, the irony. To an irrational society, our rationality may seem like fanaticism. I just know that you got that from an inspirational poster. Just how you want to die with juveniles. Let her them dying in one of your research facilities. Then, at least, you would have done some service to society. As if you'd know anything about that. Enough of this. I'm done pretending you can be reasonable.
She'll be here soon. There's nowhere to go. You and your kind have already lost. Oh. Shit. I hope I didn't interrupt anything. We were done talking. Look, do we need to fight you too? Because we no, will. No, stop. I'm not here to fight you. I'm here to make sure you get away. Okay. We don't have much time. Justice is sending everything they got to deal with these Puritans. Wherever you're going, I suggest you make a beeline. But why? Because you were telling the truth, Max. I don't know what's going on, but we've been lied to. All of us. There are facilities. You're damn right there are. Living proof, right here. And the disorder. I always thought the conspiracy theories were bullshit. But I didn't have to dig very far to find a thousand questions. I don't know what any of it means, but I can't in good conscience let them take you, Pax. Not until I understand what's going on here. So, you're just going to let us leave? Looks like it. But you need to hurry. When I said they're sending everything we've got... You don't need to tell us twice. Let's go. I hope you find the answers you're looking for. I think I can hear the ocean. I can definitely smell it. We're getting close. Is that the dock? Where's the boat? And the others? Boat's not due until midnight. I'm sure they'll be here soon. We led the Puritans away from them. Look for a parking lot. That's our meeting spot. There's a driveway over here. Should be it. Everyone good? Perfectly peachy, boss. Yes, still breathing. Everyone okay? Absolutely fucking peachy, Pax. Oh, shit. What's happening? Stay calm. We got this. Theo? Just talk to them. Who is that? The queen bitch who's been chasing us since Utah. This has all been so unnecessary. Give me the data key. Don't give her anything. You know, we could just kill you all and take it. But we're not monsters. You're holding a child hostage. Because you forced me to. Look, we are not the villains here. Justice and your masters, they're the same. They both want to use language to change and control the world. Don't move! Filtering. Oh, makes it a bit difficult to hear what you're saying, but it appears to be working. We've struggled in the past with the implementation, and unfortunately we weren't able to equip everyone, but my personal guard and I just received the latest prototype. Justice and your masters, they're the same. They both want to use language to change and control the world. All we want is to restrict it. For the good of everyone. The key's not with me. Let them go, and I'll tell you where it is. No, we're not doing that. And I think you have it. How's that any better? Silencing everyone. You were with us for a decade, Theo. I'm disappointed you learned nothing. We gave you every opportunity to grow. And I worked so hard to share my vision with all of our disciples. What's with this data? Why is it so valuable? Wait, you're serious? You don't know? So why did you... I don't understand. It's 
a codex. We've spent decades, billions of dollars compiling it, and... You shouldn't be carrying it around like... like that on a fucking memory stick. What if you dropped it somewhere? We've managed to decipher large parts of the proto-language, and we're so close to figuring out how to use it. Of course, we don't need that key. The data is safe. There were multiple backups. But we can't have it getting lost or falling into the wrong hands. That, that would be so unfair. After we have done all the hard work? Look, I'd love to share my vision with you and maybe avoid any further... You're trying to understand and control the proto-language? It's taken me 30 years, and I still don't know how to use my Vox to do what I want, but I think I finally understand. Our vocals aren't about the words. They are about empathy. I use my words as weapons. Every conversation, a confrontation. Before this trip, I didn't know how to listen. So how could I know what to say? Z, I never saw you as a person. I only saw you as my little sister. Despite all your quips and sarcasm, you're an idealist. And you're going to do great things. Noom, there was so much history getting in our way, but I see you now. You need to go home. You need to reset. Eli, you will always do what's right to help those in need. And Theo, you have so much strength. And maybe you're our crew dad, but you're more than that. Our leader, our friend. I love you. I love all of you. That was beautiful. Now hand over the data key. much bigger than individual lives. The history books will agree with me and... Are you okay? <sighs> I'll be fine. Once we get to Nova Scotia, they have a dock. I wasn't sure the pulse generator would work again. But Ziggy took a look at it on the road to New York. I mean, I replaced a few components, but... It only finished charging last night. We got lucky. Huh. We should head to the dock. The boat will be here soon. Do we just... leave them here? I've disabled the cyborgs. And she isn't much of a threat without them. Or her ship. Justice will be here soon, I expect. Okay. Let's go. I appreciate that, Pax. I'm not a natural leader, but I've grown into it. How's the arm? Nothing a dog can fix. Listen, what you said back there, what you did, you gave us strength. Without those words, I would have been powerless. I meant every word. You've taken such good care of everyone, Theo. It comes naturally to me, being everyone's dad, or a friendly uncle. What you've said and done has had an impact on me, from the very beginning. 
If it wasn't for your words and actions, things would be different. There's one more thing. If anything was to happen, I want you to do something. For me, my sister, Beatrice. Let her know about... about a potential cure. About Nova Scotia. I can't ask you to help her. I don't even know how you do that, but... I want her to know there's hope. If I can't tell her myself. Can you do that for me? Pax? Of course I will. Thank you, Pax. Boat's not here yet. We're ahead of schedule, but it should... That's the child who was with the overseer. Hey, kid. We're not going to hurt you. You should head back to shore. I'm sure someone will help you get back home. You okay, kid? What's your name? You should go back to shore. You can't stay here, kid. You okay, kid? Careful, Theo. Keep your distance. Theo, be careful. No, Theo, Christ.
I don't know. It wasn't me. I, I think it was... I don't know how I did that. Or what I said. Theo. He's gone. Guys, wait. Um, I'm not getting on that boat. No, I didn't think you would. What's your plan? I... I spent some time speaking with Ruth on the way up here, and she opened my eyes to what this country really needs. Seeing the weave crumble before our eyes in Utah, Colorado, and New York, and... And with Ruth... The weave needs to be rebuilt, and I think I can help. I can help. I, I can make a difference. So, you know what? I'm, I'm staying. I, I'm, I'm staying for the libraries and hopefully to help other anomals. So, I, uh, I guess this is goodbye, Pax. Uh, what will you do once you get to Nova Scotia? Staying there, at least for the time being. Well, wasn't that the plan to begin with? The plan was to just do the mission, figure out next steps along the way. But I wasn't really planning on staying. I had other arrangements. But now, what Ruth said resonated. There's no escaping this world. And Nova Scotia, the Weave, the librarians, they have the tools, the vision, I can do the most good working with them. And the baby, my baby, will be safe there. When did you make up your mind about all this? It was never a single choice. It was every choice. Adding up every step of the way. The truth is, we don't really know how any of this works. Free will, fate chaos we're blind to it look it's about perspective isn't it I'm not saying choice is meaningless or that there's no purpose or that we have no control over this universe but we just have to exist and react in every moment regardless of how that moment came to be this decision or consequence, it just feels right, even if it's not a choice. It sounds like the right decision for both of you. And I guess this is, um, goodbye. For now. Sure. Since it looks like we're all doing this, we're still getting on that boat. Me, oh, girl. What Ruth said makes sense. Nova Scotia has the tools we need to help other anomals, and they might be able to help O with her, her vox. I don't know if cure is the word I'd use, but if they can make her better, I can't turn my back on that opportunity. What about you? What are you thinking? I figured we'd stick together until the bitter end. 
Sai's long gone, and Theo's. I'm staying with you as far as this boat goes. After that, I want, no, I need to go home. I haven't been back for a very long time, and this unresolved business to take care of. Until then, I'll enjoy the amenities, cash in my reward. See Nova Scotia. Never expected to say those words. I think our captain's getting impatient, and we don't know when justice will change their minds about letting us go. So long, Z. We'll see each other again. And I promise it won't be another 15 years. 16, Pax. It was 16. And, yeah. Well, yeah, take care of yourself. Well, can we get a move on? I don't want to miss my one chance to leave this hellhole and all of my ex-husbands behind. The rest of you, I wish you good luck. Uh, I'm sure you'll regret staying. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. Thank you.